It is day two in Texas, still on the quest for the 10 pound double digit largemouth bass. What is the most fish you've ever caught in one day? Would you like to try to break that record? We're onto a pattern, I think. Oh, this might just have ended things. Welcome back, day two at the ranch. Sam, what are you wearing today? Sam Cam. Sam Cam, Sam Cam, it is time for- Cam Cam. The Sam Cam? Yep. Are you coining that? <laughs> I'm sure it exists already. This is day two in Texas. Our first full day, I mean, did get a later start. It's probably 11 o'clock already, um, but still on the quest for the 10 pound double digit largemouth bass. In the walleye world, 30 inches is, is kind of that benchmark. Muskie world, 50 inches. In bass, 10 pounder. And I don't know if there's a more like higher goal than a 10 pound bass. 30 inch walleye is cool, 50 inch muskie is cool, but a 10 pound bass is so tough. Like talking to guys that bass fish, bass fish their whole lives. Jeff Gustafson, I think he's caught one 10 pounder before. It is that tough and he bass fishes all the time. So I think we have a pretty good chance here. The biggest I've seen on this lake is 815, which I caught two years ago with my buddy Spencer. So if that fish is still in here and a little bit fatter, that is, that's a 10 pounder. So we're gonna give it a full, full day out on the lake and hopefully the Sam Cam captures a little bit of action. Yeah, uh, did you see him? Not even out on the boat yet. Casting off the dock. And we got a good bass. Whoa. Ooh. Sam Cam. Did Sam Cam get it? Yeah, I think so. That's that's a fat one. That's the fattest one yet. Do you want your scale? No, that's fine. Just hold the camera, maybe. Guys, that fish chowed it. That is what we're looking for. We didn't see that yesterday. That is a big belly. That is the right sign. That is a good fish. He's going right back off the dock. We didn't even start yet. Today is going to be a good day. I donated my chest mount GoPro to Sam today. So that is why you have the Sam cam and why I didn't have the hook set, but that's okay. That fish just came out in the middle here. He was chasing my jig. Work it. Let me see you work it. Put your thing down, flip it and reverse it. Sam cam. Well, it's about an hour into the morning. Our biggest fish has still been caught off the dock. Um, Sam no longer has Sam Cam. She did not uh, come through when the pressure was on. Aww. So I got the camera back and we're gonna keep flipping the jungle. Just for saying that, you're gonna have bad fish coming right now. Yep. That's a decent one. I'll sling him. <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna net him just in case. Let's show the people at home what a one pound bass looks like. There's the bass. And this is the deal right here. As I said in the last video, since we are flipping some heavy cover, I'm going straight braid. This is 40 or 65 pound braid, probably 65. In this case, we're using the Bandito Bug, Guggen Baits. Any flipping bait works, been using Rage Craws. I like something black and purple or like a watermelon. I don't know how much the color matters, but it's what all the bass guys use, so that's why I'm using it. And it's a good sign. So basically what we're looking for is just an area with multiple fish. On, on some of these lakes, it's like, they just might like one stretch of shoreline. So I'm just trying to find an area in general where they're hanging out. Seems like they're kind of scattered so far. So once we zone in on that area, then we can pick it apart and fish it slower. But now we're just trying to cover as much territory as possible. And I'm talking a lot, we're gonna get back to fishing. Would you say you caught that fish to justify taking my Sam Cam away? Yeah. Cam snag. I'm out. Second, I'm gonna get the net. 
Sam's hooked up. Lift, lift, hey. Nice. Look how Paul the hook popped out. Here you go. You had to work for that one. A little bit. Be free. What was the key to success? <laughs> I don't know. You get another one, Sam? I did. You slammed him good. Sam the Bassmaster. Alright, it's going well fishy. So guys, something you want to pay attention to whenever you're fishing, especially bodies of water that have multiple parts to it, and this can be in smaller lakes or in bigger lakes, water clarity. We're fishing the clearest part of the lake now and we're starting to get bit. I don't know if there's more fish in this part of the lake or they're more willing to bite or it's more suited for what we're using, but pay attention to that. It's sometimes those subtle things. It might not be a huge difference in water clarity here. It is a pretty big difference from the dirty water to the clear water. But I just saw a monster back there. We got bit a couple times and I'm feeling good about this area. So we're gonna pick it apart now and fish it super slow. Is that a fish? Yep. I'm slinging him. Oh, that's a nice one. Do My boy, Billy the Bass. And he's definitely blind in one eye, I think. It's kind of coated over. That is how they're chewing it. That is good. All right, we're gonna pop this guy back and we're onto a pattern, I think. Going back to the pond. Goodbye. Sam? What is the most fish you've ever caught in one day? I don't, I still don't have an answer to this question. Ugh. Would you like to try to break that record? Yes. All right. Does it matter what type of fish? Musky. No, 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 panfish, say panfish. Panfish. Panfish, perfect choice. I know just a little honey hole for Sam to lay a beat down on some panfish. We have not exactly stroked the largies today. We caught a couple decent ones. It was fine, it was a good day of largie fishing. But we're gonna spend some time chasing some panfish. I think I'm just gonna film Sam. She is gonna use the old slip float and jig and grub and we'll see what we can do. Let's say the most fish we've ever caught in the day is 15, probably. 15 is the goal, we're gonna say. We're gonna give her half an hour. So we've picked our spot. Me. Is that this? what is that on your chest? Sam Cam. Sam Cam, Sam Cam. It is time for... Sam Cam. Sam Cam! Did you just lose everything? Uh, I, I, I'll let you know. What the... <laughs> Sam, we're trying to break records. <laughs> oh my goodness. How did you go that high? Here, here, I'm gonna trade you. I just need a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this might just have ended things. Oh my goodness. We're using a little, it's probably 16th ounce jig. Probably one and a half inch bait on here. What are you laughing at, the fact you caught a tree? Technically my half an hour hasn't started no, yet. No, that will start when you get a cast that doesn't land in the tree. <laughs> because Can I, I actually, take your first cast for you? I haven't hit water yet. <laughs> no, then it's your championship. All right, I will trade you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number one, let the timer start. You gonna net him, both sling him? What do you think? I think we're just gonna sling him as per my partner doing absolutely nothing in this situation. I'm filming. Number one. Wait, do, can I lip him? Yeah. Whip them, unhook them. Come to me. Come to me. Show me. Oh, oh. Ah. Number one for Samantha. All right, I'm actually gonna start a timer. Goodbye. Okay, go up for the wind. One o'clock, two o'clock. 
something about a teapot and nice that was good Should we call it now? <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's good. Things are not good. Things are bad. Can I help you? You can, yeah. Anytime you'd like to step Okay, passing the rod. All right, Sam. Back in the game, we took a tight, quick time out. Got refocused. Think you're gonna get hit again? Oh, <laughs> there are so many fish there. How did that feel? Did you take all your aggression out on that fish? I did. Oh, oh no! Okay, another one. Got him going back. <laughs> your face there was great. Sorry, fish. <laughs> Sam's gonna let me help on this next cast. Not far enough. Sam Cam is dead. And just like that, that is a wrap half an hour later. <laughs> no, it's about 15 minutes. We decided we're gonna go back to largey fishing. Uh, yeah, that, that we're didn't. We're not gonna add this in. It might get added into the video. This happen. might be the highlight of the day. I'm gonna catch a couple crappies. I'm gonna see if they're gonna eat. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can catch some crappies on the bass sized headbanger because I know that the guys in Europe catch a giant perch with them, so I don't know why a crappie wouldn't eat them. So stay tuned. We're hooked up on the big crank. So cool that they eat this. Look at that, that is a big bait for that fish. Hooked up again. Telling you, they're crushing this thing. Well, due to some technical difficulties, we, we're gonna probably revisit Sam's most fish in a day challenge another time. Another great day in paradise in Texas. Just so nice that I have friends that are so hospitable and let me come and fish their private lake and use their boat and stay in their house. Amazing times. Thank you, Barry and Mary, once again. We're not done. We got two more full days here, and we will see you tomorrow.